Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up subscription products, payment plan products, and also how to offer a free trial within ClickFunnels and Stripe. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, first things first, I gotta assume that you already have a Stripe account and you've integrated it with your ClickFunnels account. So you gotta do that first. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll link to some instructions down below. But once you do that, you wanna go over to your Stripe account here, and we need to go ahead and set up our products inside of Stripe first. And then we come back over to ClickFunnels and we set up the products in ClickFunnels. So Stripe first, then ClickFunnels for subscription and payment plan products. So here we are in Stripe. And what we wanna do is go to products here in the menu, and we wanna add a product. So we'll click on that right there. And then we're gonna fill out these options here. So I'll just say test product. So test product is name, of course, name it whatever is relevant for you. You could go ahead and add an, a description, but it's not necessary here. I'll kind of just cover the necessary fields in this particular example. And for pricing here, we wanna make sure we have standard pricing selected. So leave that as the default setting and then go ahead and set the price. That's gonna be the recurring price. So, you know, whatever it is, maybe it's $10, maybe it's $10,000, whatever it might be. And you wanna go ahead and make sure that recurring is selected here for your product. Then we have billing period. So how frequently you wanna go ahead and have the individual be charged. So we'll just go monthly for this example. But as you can see, there are other um, options available or you could also do custom. So there you go. Don't do anything with usage is metered. That's something advanced. ID, we need to go ahead and set this up as well. And you might wanna write it down so you have it handy. So I'm just gonna do test product here and I'm just gonna copy it. Uh, you can't do spaces or anything in, in this field. Uh, it causes issues, so delete the spaces and boom, just like that. Uh, and that's it right now. We'll come up here to the top right hand corner and do save product. So we now have our test product, that's $10 a month. And now what we wanna go ahead and do is flip over to test mode inside of Stripe. So you see on the left hand side, we have this little toggle switch we can flip. And now we're gonna do view all products and we're gonna add a product. And then same thing here, test product. Uh, you can fill out your description. You wanna have the same settings as the product you just set up. So same standard pricing, $10, recurring, monthly, ID. You want the same exact ID that you just had on the, the non-test version, the live version. And make sure everything's the same exact. You want it matching. And you do this so that way you can test your, your orders on your funnel. If you don't set up a test product, for your subscription product and you go to test your funnel, it's gonna give you errors or issues, right? So you probably wanna set up this test product and the main thing is to make sure that all the data matches your live product. So that's how ClickFunnels kind of compares things is it looks at your, your live product information and your test product information and it kind of matches them together. So that way when you're testing your funnel, it, it knows what product you're testing, right? So that's why we set it up on both both sides of Stripe, the live side and the test side. All right, now that we have the product set up on both the live and test side, we come over to click funnels and you wanna be on your, in your, inside your funnel and you can be on an order form or also OTO pages also allow for subscription and payment plan products. So both of those page types allow this type of product. Now you cannot use subscriptions or payment plans on bump offers. So put that out there real quick. You can't do it on bump offers. It'd be cool if you could, but for whatever reason, they don't allow you to do that. Um, so I just want to put that out. If you're trying to make it your bump offer, you can't do that. All right. So we have our order form and then we're going to go to products here and we're going to go ahead and create a product real quick. Uh, let me delete this one out of here. And I wanna go ahead and add a product. And then we're gonna go ahead and select our integration here. And then you go ahead and select either subscription or payment plan. We'll do subscription for this first example and then we'll come back and do a payment plan real quick. So then we go to save and next. And we get into the product details. So here you can go ahead and name your product. So I'll just say best product. And it can you can name it whatever you want. It doesn't have to match what's in Stripe or anything like that. You can do price overlay, so we'll do ten dollars a month forever and you can enter all the shipping information if that's relevant but we'll come on down here to the actual um product information here we go stripe plan so this is the field you're looking for is the stripe plan we click this drop down menu and we see test product here so that's the one you're going to go ahead and select and then you can also go ahead and fill in the billing description and product description as well. Probably a good idea. I have another video on creating products that I recommend checking out if you're unfamiliar with the whole process. I know I'm just covering the, the subscription product 
piece in this video, but if you need more information, link in the description down below. Right here, you have the trial period. So if you want to do, you know, a 30 days free or something like that, you could, you know, 30 day free trial. And that way, after that 30 day period, then they'll start being charged on their credit card. So then you just do save and next and you go through the entire process of building out your product and all that type of stuff. So again, I have another video on creating a product that I recommend checking out if you need help with these follow on steps. Coming back here to payment options, we'll go ahead and do a payment plan real quick. So payment plan and save and next. And it's pretty much the same process as the subscription product. Come in here, fill out this information. And so instead of 10 months forever, $10 a month for six months, let's say. And then we can fill out this information. We select the, the same product or whichever product that we want a recurring payment on. And now we have a field for number of planned payments. So we'll do six payments. So this will cancel subscription after X number of payments, but keep their access to the two purchases. So they'll still have access after this six month billing cycle, basically. We got the, the billing description, product description. We'll delete the trial period out of here. And then we'd go ahead and save and next and go through the following steps on creating our products. So product variations, fulfillment email, follow-up action, shipping, summary, etc. And again, I have a video in the description down below if you need help with the product settings. But that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you go ahead and you set up a product or a subscription product inside of Stripe and then how you connect it to your ClickFunnels products. And so you can do subscription products, payment plan products, and also how you can do a free trial on your product. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.